Hey Leos, welcome to your general reading for December. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody. But I hope that, you know, if you have clicked on the video, that you do get a message. I do do personal readings. My email will be in the description box as always. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscriptions. It really, really means a lot to me. So thank you, guys. I'll be using the Fairy Tarot deck this time with the Tarot Illuminati deck as well. So let's see what we have going on for Leo's for December. Ooh, the Sun card. Healing. Giving thanks for the blessings of life. So let's see. We have the King of Winter. Solios. Somebody could be being very, very cold towards you. If you look at this card, this is like the Ice King. Reminds me of that film Narnia. Um, where there's an Ice Queen. But this just reminds me of an Ice King. So this could be somebody being very cold towards you. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini or Aquarius um, but it's saying get advice from someone professional and objective public speaking unemotional relationships so I feel like somebody is keeping their emotions you know to themselves here and being very cold towards you for some of you you'll be seeking advice ten of autumn ten of pentacles Take steps to ensure the financial security of children and other loved ones. Making wise investments, planning for retirement and honouring family traditions. Eight of winter. You have what it takes if only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. So I feel like... Um, and... Again, I'll repeat, like, if you're a cross-watcher, the message will be for you. So, if a Leo's done anything to you, you know, and so on. So, I feel like um, somebody's been very cold towards you, which has made you sort of up in your thoughts and tied up in your thoughts here, um, which you don't have to be. That's holding you back right now. Um... The Ten of Pentacles, it could have been like the ending of a very stable relationship or wanting to end a very stable relationship but feeling like you can't. Because this could be seen um, like a judge or something, getting like a divorce or something here. Thinking about it at the very least and, it, you know, keeping you trapped in your thoughts here. It says you have the power to do what it takes. Eight of Autumn, so it's the Eight of Pentacles. Do more research before proceeding. Education in the forms of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanships and long-term projects. The Ace of Summers, so that's the Ace of Cups. Open your heart to love. I feel like um, you wanting to reach out to somebody, but it's like, Huge pride holding you back here. Wanting, wanting to work together with somebody. Wanting to offer your love to somebody. Yeah, this is why. Five of Springs. This inner conflict that you have going on here. Opposing goals that arise from differing opinions. Feeling at odds with yourself or others. Overly ambitious people. It's feeling at odds with yourself here, I feel, with the combination of these cards, with the Eight of Winters. Um, it's like you want to grow and move things forward, but there's only yourself holding you back here. This inner conflict, like, should I stay? Should I go? Do I? Do I not? You know, should I reach out to this person? They seem quite cold with me. We have 
the Prince of Swords and the King of Cups. So for some, this is somebody rushing towards you, no longer being able to hold in the words that they love you. They want to offer this cup. So if you're watching for a Leo, this is the Leo wanting to rush towards you now and not being able to hold back his words here, hold back the fact that, you know, they love you. They're wanting to offer this Ace of Cups. And if you are a Leo watching, this is somebody wanting to rush towards you and tell you now, speak up on their love. Strong air sign indications. But yeah, it's like they can't hold back anymore how they feel. Could be a water sign that you, if you're a Leo, that you want to speak to and tell them. Like, like if you've been thinking about it and you're trapped in your thoughts, this could be a water sign that you're thinking of um, offering your love to now. It's like, I can't hold back. I can't hold it in. Because the King of Cups usually holds it in. But with the Prince of Swords combinations, they can't hold it in. We have the Six of Wands. So I feel like it will be a successful outcome. If you're in your thoughts about will they accept this offer or not, I feel like they will. This is somebody who could be, um, you know, in the limelight as well. It's people now listening to you now taking notice of you what you're saying people now being willing to take notice to you of you sorry and listen if they wasn't in the past i feel like they now will listen to you so we have the prince of wands so again with the rushing towards you taking action here it's like somebody wants to take immediate action with the Prince of Wands and like speaking the truth with the Prince of Swords. It's like, it really does feel like they're about to explode here. It's like they've kept their words, their love in so long that it's about to explode. Nine of Cups. So this is, you know, like a wish being granted here for some. They found what it was they were looking for when they had to leave with the eight cup. They found what they was looking for and they want to come back now. They need to come and offer you that ninth cup. And that's what, you know, when you offer your cup back, it's like a wish come true. And it brings the tenth cup to the table. It brings that emotional fulfillment and happiness here. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody making a very solid offer here. Five of Cups. So you've gone through all this hurt and this emotion and all these feelings, feeling like, you know, there was nothing left, but behind you still was two cups. When somebody leaves with eight cups behind you, there's still two cups to make that tenth cup. You know, this is a soulmate connection here. But it was very, very hurtful, I feel. Very, very emotional. It was very emotional for them as well, having to keep their feelings inside and having to maybe act all independent and happy on their own. Because I feel like we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles making Ten Pentacles again, meaning they want to combine and make this stable relationship. They don't want you being single. They want to offer something solid here and they're coming in quickly. A lot of cups here, a lot of pentacles as well, but there's a lot of cups here. That's all I seem to be drawn to. Keep They keep telling me cups, the five of cups, the hurt, the love. I feel you're not with this person at the moment with the nine of cup, uh, pentacles. So this is somebody you're not with at the moment. 
this is somebody who you was probably previously with and they want to reach out to you although it could be a new person rushing in towards you and this is going to be like emotional fulfillment here successfully getting um back together this relationship successfully overcoming challenging times it's like you're going to get really fast movement now from this person wow the world card turning around this is like things turning around for the better for some this will have been like traveling the world or wanting to travel the world you'll have that coming up if that's you know a wish of yours or a dream of yours to travel the world alone you may do that if you're feeling like you've missed this opportunity you have not you're going to have the chance here um, for some to travel the world. I feel like you're going to get like a lump sum of money, maybe an inheritance, which enables you to um, live a little more luxurious and freer. It may feel like, you know, you're dreaming, but um, there's a huge offer coming in for you guys and a love offer. Um, you will be feeling like, you know, you've missed an opportunity with a person. They may be feeling like they've missed an opportunity with you because they see you around all happy, single, doing your thing. And they want to come towards you. I feel like it's opening up a brand new cycle when they speak of their love for you. Good luck, guys.